Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to show you what can go wrong in WordPress and the most common questions on the internet today in 2021 and if as you can see here um, one of the problems that uh, uh, is in what can happen in, in WordPress is that the publishing is failed for making a new page because of a failed Johnson response and if you uh, google that on the internet there are a lot of questions of that and there are a lot of people who are asking that so also on the WordPress society itself and there are a lot of people who are saying what the solutions can be and that is, uh, for example, the permalinks and the, the editor and, the, and so on and so on, and also the PHP. But uh, I'm going to show you what might can be the problem on the websites that you use and when you see that error. Um, so um, on this time, when I want to publish it, then you can see that it won't work. And if I'm going back to the WordPress environment and I'm going to the settings and I go to the permalinks, then I see that nothing is wrong because it says uh, post name. And you should always use the post name when you have a WordPress website and you want to uh, able um, the search machines as Google to find your website because it uh, will show uh, the uh, name of your website and then for example home page or contact or something else and when you have a blog page and you obviously you want to choose day and name but we have a website and we going to use this one so the permalinks are uh, fine and uh, it doesn't work so uh, when you are changing it to um, the default plane and you save the changes and you go to all the pages and you want to edit another one then you can see that it works and there is no error message but we don't want that we want to have the permalinks just correctly so we're going to delete this one and we're going to the permalinks and we're going to reset it as the defaults and we're going to save it so the permalinks are fine and when we are um, going to the comfort to the general settings then you see here the ssl set certificate so this is a uh, secure website and it is very important of course especially when you're using a woocommerce website or something like that and when you see something like this and you have an ssl certificate on your website and you see something like that then just add the s -tap. so make sure of that so when you have done that and nothing is working then you go into the um, maps and you go to the root maps in this case this is the website and this is the root map so you click on the website and you're going to get uh, get to the root maps and uh, what you have to do is uh, make a new file but first i'm gonna make a new map so i'm gonna make a new map and i'm gonna call it just like this e t e c c e s s and then i'm gonna save it and what you see then is that the map is, has been added in here now this is not correct so um, beware of that it doesn't work because when you go into the pages and you add new page and you want to add a new page and you call its home page and you publish it then you see the Johnson response is failed so uh, we have to delete the map and we are going to do that and then we are going to go to new and we're going to choose for a file so not a map but a file and we call it just exactly the same as it was and we're going to click on save and then you see this little guy i have no idea who he is he, it, it just looks 
he has no eyes and no nose and no, no whatever and when you have done that and then you're going to refresh the page and we are going back to the WordPress environments to be sure that everything is deleted uh, all right so we have to add a new page add new one and we're going to say home page home and we publish it then you will see <laughs> that there is a wrong message and i don't know why let's see let's refresh it once again and we're going to adding a new page and we're going to say home and we're going to publish it that is wrong and i know why because when we are opening it it says nothing there's nothing in here so we have to go to the um wordpress um and to the to this file e t e c c e s s so to the wordpress society and then we have to copy the default wordpress and we have to copy it and we have to go in here and we have to paste it <laughs> it doesn't paste why not well let's go back and let's say that we have to edit in the text editor and then when we are doing it it will work so you have to choose for the text editor then save the whole thing and then when you're going back to the websites and we are adding the new page the home page home and then it works and with no error so when we're going back then we see that the home page is has been added to our website with no problems at all now um it's a recommends the uh, recommends recommendable that you have uh, your an, um, backup plugin um, you have also the backups uh, from the hosting company where you're hosting the, the website most of the cases but it's always good to have um, an um, backup plugin installed on your website and make sure uh, that um, the backups are um, and let's see uh, what you also can use is um, uh, WordPress Reset Pro. So this is not a backup plugin, but it makes uh, snapshots. And when you say I want to create another snapshot, and I say, for example, starts, and we make a snapshot. And when you are adding a new plugin or a new uh, team or something like that, and something when it goes wrong, then you can always say restore the snapshots. So that is for security. And the snapshot is uh, not the same thing as a backup plugin. So there are two different things. Uh, so yeah, that is it for this tutorial. So uh, keep in mind that uh, the plugins uh, can also be troubleshooters and um, make sure that you have uh, plugins that are good. Most of the cases, uh, the paid plugins have not so much problem as the free ones because the free ones can also have some virus or something like that. Be aware of that and um, that's what i want to show you on this tutorial and i see you on the next tutorial and i hope you have enjoyed this one see you later